Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. So this week we are going to do another yarn review from Feederbook Farms. I don't know if you've heard of them. I will put all the, info in the information in the description below in case you ever want to check them out. Um, so I got two skeins of the this from a little while ago. There's 260 yards per skein, which is a nice um, amount of yarn. So, And it's a mix of Murano, Alpaca, and Milk Fiber which is pre uh, pretty awesome. It looks like this is, um, what they do is all hand dyed yarn, which is, again, kind of nice because you get some unique coloring with hand dyed, um, as we're about to see. What really stands out about, about this to me is that, yes, um, it's really nice yarn itself, very soft, very cozy, but also how they decided to, one, dye it, but also combine the fibers because it looks like they did use two strains when they were putting together the yarn. So it's not, you don't just get that single color yarn. You kind of get a little bit more gradual feel to it um, from color to go color. Sometimes it's just kind of a, a solid color, but also other times you can see kind of the two fi uh, fibers wrapped around, which is also, uh, it gives a little, a very distinct feel to it and also distinct look. This makes it a help make the project look very different in terms of having a uh, different color change. So there's a time, you know, for solid color one after another, but also um, I feel like it gives a little bit more rustic feel in terms of the coloring. I do like um, how kind of mellow the colors are. Um, they did, you can tell that they put into a lot of time and effort before they dyed, and to uh, blending the wool, the colors into one, uh, one into another, so they think, so they really stand out in how they do that, which I love. Um, I'm gonna make finish making a scarf for this. It's gonna be nice and nice and wide. I decided to do um, like kind of a square block pattern with it which as I'm doing more of, I'm loving more and more so that it kind of has a nice little pattern to it, but it also showcases what they, what they did with the yarn. That's always my trouble is finding the good pattern to show off the yarn, but have a nice pattern to it. Um, but I think this turned out really well so far, so I'm loving it. But yes, go check them out, uh, Feederbrook Farms. Again, I'll put all the information in the description below. If there's any yarn that you want me to take a look at or review, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out. I'll see you next week. Bye.